Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject uh, Network Analysis and Synthesis We talk on a subject and we are on uh, module 4 And today we will discuss some problems based on the Havitz polynomials And uh, in this video uh, we will be familiarizing uh, different methods Different uh, methods of problems we can do So the first uh, method is, the first one is uh, test whether the polynomial p of s s raised to 4 plus s cube plus 5 s square plus 3 s plus 4 is Hurwitz. So for testing the polynomial whether it is Hurwitz or not, first we have to uh, check the all the coefficients are positive. So here all the coefficients are positive and no missing terms are there. s raised to 4 s cube s square s and 4 all the terms are there. So then the next step is to perform a continued fraction expansion after doing the continued fraction expansion we have to observe the uh, all the uh, coefficients and uh, if they are positive then our polynomial will be uh, habits okay so for doing so first we have to differentiate the uh, given polynomial into even part and uh, odd part so the even part of p of s that is we are denoting it with m of s so m of s will be equal to s ratio 4 plus 5 s square we are taking the even parts even times only 5 s square plus 4 okay and the odd parts next one is p odd parts of p of s is n of s we are denoting it with n of s and uh, it is s cube plus 3 s okay and uh, uh, we will divide this uh, even part with odd part okay that is actually the continued fraction expansion so here the first the dividend will be the uh, even part because uh, it is the order of the even part is higher so we will take it as the dividend and uh, the old part is the divisor here okay so s raised to 4 plus 5 s square plus 4 divided by s cube plus 3s okay we will do the first division here okay m of s by n of s and we know that uh, we can perform the division by uh, we are taking the first term s raised to 4 so s raised to 4 by s cube we will do with the first term s cube and we will obtain uh, quotient as s here s is the first quotient we will obtain okay and uh, here you can see it is s okay so s is multiplied with our divisor here and uh, the result is written here okay so s into s cube plus 3s that is s raised to 4 plus 3s square that you know you can uh, you know the uh, division to perform the division well okay so s raised to 4 plus 3s square and uh, subtract this term from the first dividend okay we will obtain 5s square minus 3s square it is 2s square 2s square plus 4 okay and what happens here is the next step is this uh, 2s square pro plus 4 that is the remainder okay 2s square plus 4 will be the divisor here and this earlier divisor that is s cube plus 3s will become the dividend here okay which means s cube plus 3s by 2s square plus 4 and the result we obtain is uh, 1 by 2s and uh, 1 by 2s into 2s square plus 4 we will get s cube plus 3 uh, 2s okay and again the remainder is s it becomes the uh, divisor and the earlier uh, divisor become the dividend here that is 2s square plus 4 which means 2s square plus 4 divided by s the result is 2s okay and again it is 2s square and uh, uh, last we will obtain it as 0 okay so here you can see uh, four quotient terms are there four quotient terms are there and all are positive so we can say that the polynomial the given polynomial is Hurwitz okay is Hurwitz and uh, one thing you have to note down is here uh, the highest order of the polynomial is 4 okay so uh, you must get four quotient terms of course you must get four quotient terms okay in some cases the division may be uh, stopped abruptly okay in the second step uh, uh, there may be chance for uh, abrupt closing of the uh, calculation so uh, in that case we have to perform another method okay so here four quotient terms are there and all are positive so the polynomial is Hurwitz okay and in the next example next method you can see okay that's whether the polynomial is Hurwitz okay so first we will uh, find the even part and odd part that you know okay 
taking the even times only and taking the odd times only and here the highest power is four even part so m of s by n of s we will perform m of s by n of s okay and by doing so uh, same same method okay same thing we can perform here s ratio for uh, by s cube we will get it is s so s in s cube plus 2s we will get s ratio 4 plus 2s square okay by doing so uh, by uh, continue the uh, process and uh, in this step in this step uh, what we will obtain is s square plus 12 by minus 10s so here you will obtain a negative quotient here negative quotient okay and in the next step also you will obtain a negative quotient which means the polynomial is not a, a how it's okay it is not how it's because all the quotient term must be positive okay but here it is negative so the polynomial is not how it's okay and the another method is okay another type of problem uh, here is test whether the polynomial s ratio 5 plus 3 s cube plus 2 s is how it's here by observing the term we understood that uh, all the terms all the even terms are missing in the polynomial only the old terms are there that is s raised to 5 s cube s ratio 1 like that okay so in that case uh, we can do a uh, uh, different method here okay that is we have to find if this is the p of us polynomial we have to find p dash of us that is the derivative of this polynomial you know uh, the derivative of this polynomial is that is 5 s raised to 4 and uh, 9 s square plus 2 okay so this is the derivative okay and uh, we will perform we will uh, make the p of us as the dividend and p dash of us as the divisor okay so s ratio 5 plus 3 s cube plus 2 s divided by this uh, different uh, derivative that is 5 s ratio 4 plus 9 s square plus 2 okay and we will do the uh, further step as same as in the previous question okay and uh, at last we will obtain the zero value zero reminder we can stop the process okay and uh, uh, check whether the all the quotients that is s raised to 5 is there so five quotients must be there first second three four and five all the quotients are positive so the polynomial is how it's here okay so this is the another method another type of problem and uh, one more type of problem is there here uh, the p of s is given s raised to 6 3 s raised to 5 plus 8 s raised to 4 then 15 s cube plus 17 s square plus 12 s plus 4 and first we have to find the even and odd terms okay and uh, uh, even m of s is the dividend and n of s is the divisor and we will perform the uh, continued fraction expansion method so here in the fourth step after finding the fourth coefficient uh, observe here that is the it is 2 s raised 2 s cube plus 8 s the same term we will obtain here that is 2s cube plus 8s so the remainder is 0 so only 4 quotients are there but we have s raised to 6 that is we must get 6 quotients so here the division has terminated abruptly okay that is the number of partial quotients is not equal to the order of the polynomial okay so what we can do here okay so here you have to represent the p of us the given polynomial okay as a factor of the last divisor that is s raised s square plus 4 which is the uh, factor we are taking here s raised s square plus 4 and uh, by dividing this s raised this polynomial with s square plus 4 we will obtain an another term okay an another term by using the normal division by no, no using the normal division okay not the continued fraction expansion by using the normal division that is s raised to 6 plus 3 s raised to 5 plus 8 s raised to 4 something okay divided by this s square plus 4 okay by uh, uh, using the normal division method okay you will obtain another term like s raised to 4 plus 3 s cube plus 4 s square plus 3 s plus 4 okay and uh, represent the polynomial as a multiple of two terms okay as a multiple of two terms okay and check whether the individual terms are harvits or not okay so here the first time is s raised to 4 plus 4 so uh, we will check whether the first time is a harvits and next we will check the second time 
So the first time is s raised to four s square plus four. Okay. So here by observing that only the even even terms are there. That is all terms are missing. S raised to one is missing here. Okay. So only even terms are there. So if only even terms are uh, given, uh, we have to do the continuous fraction expansion using the uh, same method as in the previous question. That is, we will find the derivative of the s raised to four s raised s square plus four. That is p dash of s p one dash of s. It is two s and uh, s square plus four will be the dividend and two s will be the divisor. Okay, and uh, we will do the same uh, continuous fraction fraction expansion. Okay, and uh, in that the all the coefficients will be positive. Okay, here here uh, they have done a uh, easiest way easiest way of that is it is a small uh, polynomial. Okay, so by simply dividing it and we will uh, understood that all the quotients are positive okay and the next so it's a uh, uh, the s square plus 4 is Hurwitz and next we will check for the next time that is s raised to 4 plus 3 s cube plus 4 s square plus 3 s plus 1 okay here for check uh, for checking uh, we have to uh, find the even and odd terms of this uh, given polynomial okay and uh, we will do the continued fraction expansion and we will observe the quotient terms here all the quotient terms are positive and uh, the given polynomial will be Hurwitz. Okay, so here s raised to s square plus 4 is Hurwitz, and uh, the second term s raised to 4 plus 3 s cube plus 4 s square plus 3 s plus 1 is also Hurwitz. So the entire polynomial will be Hurwitz here. That is, the entire polynomial s raised to 6, this polynomial will be Hurwitz. That is the another method. Okay, so uh, I hope all of you understand the problems well. So thank you. Okay.